Hi, this is Justin from Ajar Productions. In this video, I want to show you a sneak peek at the new Magic Layouts feature. So normally, in InDesign, when I create an alternate layout, I go to the Pages panel, I go to my One Layout, I select the Flyout menu, and choose Create Alternate Layout. Uh, I put in pixel values here for my new layout, and click OK. And then I've got a new layout here, and the issue that I have is that it doesn't do anything with any of my artwork because I didn't set up any liquid layout rules to tell InDesign how to scale it. And so, you know, here's all my artwork, but it's all cropped by how this page has been shrunk. And I can go through and move all this stuff manually, but it takes a while. So I'd like to make it a little bit easier. So I'm gonna undo that step and I'll go up to N5 and go to Build Wizards and choose the Magic Layout Builder. And in this case, I've got a couple of useful presets. So I'll just choose the iPhone 10 here and rename the layout and I've got all my same settings from the create alternate layout dialog except now when I click build layout in addition to changing the size of the pages it's also going to use InDesign's built-in AI to adjust the layout and so you can see it still needs some correcting but at least everything fits on the page now it scaled this image in a smart way everything even fits on these ladder pages which are rather complex, but it's way less work now. I'm making this feature available to everybody, even people who don't have an N5 license. So when version 3.7 comes out, you'll be able to install the demo and you'll get the Magic Layout Builder for free. That way you can use it for other purposes if you're already using alternate layouts for something. And if you happen to be using N5 as your export tool, you now have a way to create responsive layouts.